All right, last thing on my list, I would like a secret Pinterest account, and I'd like all the things that are previously listed on my list to be pinned on that set account. You want pictures of men in spray tans on your <laughs> Pinterest account? <laughs> I mean that could no, be arranged. No, I want I want spray tan gift certificates and like maps to spray tan places. I don't know how Pinterest works. Yeah, That's okay. my point. I want a secret account where I can figure out how Pinterest works. Okay. Okay, Link, you asked for it and I'm giving it to you. You asked for a Pinterest that had secret boards so that you could figure out how Pinterest works. The first thing you want to do is go to Pinterest.com and click this link right here that says log in now. The first thing you want to do is click your name in the top right corner and choose settings. This is where you can edit your profile, which includes changing your picture if you'd like. You can choose a username right here. That's what people will see publicly, so think about that. That's actually what the URL will be of your Pinterest boards. Write a little something about yourself that it can't be very long. And I'm confused about where you are, so I think you're in Los Angeles now. And I'm going to change that to Los Angeles. You, of course, know where you are, and you can change that to whatever you like. Don't know which one of your websites you wanted, so I put something in there, and I'm going to save that profile. One thing you will probably want to do is turn off mail notices. They, they send you a whole lot of mails every time somebody does something. And so, right here it says email notifications, get email notifications, you would want to click no. Make sure it says no. Okay, social networks, you can connect your other social networks in. I'm actually going to go and unconnect mine, so I don't really recommend that you do that. Each social network should be a castle to itself, if you will. Click save settings. For reasons Pinterest only knows themselves, it's very hard to figure out where to get the buttons to make it easy to pin what you find on the internet. They're kind of buried. You want to click on these funny little bars right here in the top left corner. Click About. Go to the About page. And on the About page, you click Goodies. And then you have to scroll way down on the Goodies page. And look for, these are apps if you want to put it on your smart devices. You want the pin it button. You click install now and I'm going to allow that to install itself on Firefox. So I'm going to say I trust it, install now. And now it's going to want to restart my Firefox before I can even go and pin anything for you. So I'm going to restart and we'll be back. So we're back with how to use Pinterest. You can now see in my Firefox I have a P up here on the toolbar. There are other pin it buttons, one for each browser, different ones for various smart devices. So now we can actually go visit a web page and use that P button to add something to your Pinterest. Now before we do that, if you click on your profile and pins, you'll probably want to create some boards. So based on what I know about you, I created a Mythical Beasts board, a Spray Tans board, and a Toe Socks board. That just gives us a place to start and they're for illustration purposes. You can always remove and replace anything that you place on Pinterest. Okay, so we can go and use our favorite search engine to find a site that we'd like to pin. We have to have an image in order for Pinterest to work. So here is a site that does mobile spray tanning in Los Angeles. We can click the P button and hope that it finds an image we can pin. Now there is a gift card someone could give you so that you can get that spray tan you've always wanted. We go to pick our board, we place the cursor over the board we want to use, in this case spray tans, and then we want to give it a better description. For mobile spray tans, Los Angeles, California, and then we pin it. Now if we're quick, we can see it now and we'll go and look at your board and now we have that pin on your board to see your board again you click on link and your profile or you can just click here for that specific board and so we now have two images on your spray tans board one is in North Carolina and one is in Los Angeles so that's how you add something that is not already on Pinterest 
The easiest way to use Pinterest, though, is to see what other people have pinned already. So we could type in toe socks, for example, and get some great results. We can instantly see what other people liked, which kind of toe socks. We can click on the heart, and it turns red if you like it, and click pin it. Let's actually pick a different one. I don't know which ones I've already pinned. So I'm going to click a heart on this one, click pin it. We're going to choose our toe socks board. Make sure there's some kind of description that, that lets people know what's in that photo, and click pin it. You may want to follow the person that pinned it originally, and then click see it now. The reason that you would want to follow the person that originally pinned something is so that you could, f could find your followers. For example, you might have noticed I created a board for Mythical Morning, Mythical Beasts. And so you could go search for Mythical Beasts or Mythical Morning, find what other people have already pinned, heart it, add it to your board, and then follow them because you know they're your fans, they're pinning your stuff. Now you mentioned you wanted secret boards so that you could learn to use Pinterest. I actually made your toe socks boards public and I made your um, tanning spray tanning board public and your mythical beasts board. You can always click on Pinterest to see the latest pins that you've made and what other people have made that you follow. If you click on your name and click on your profiles, you can see what boards you have. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you can have secret boards. So you could have link secret wish list board. And whatever you put in here, only you can see. You might recognize that building. And so you can have both public boards and you can have private boards. I'm going to go to your profile again so we can see your boards. To create a board, you just click here. Now one thing, you can also create a board on the fly. If I hadn't already had a toe socks board, I could have created a toe socks board. And if you do that, you want to go in and edit that board because you always want to have a description in there. You want to have a category. And uh, I put the toe socks in men's fashion. That ought to shake things up a bit. And you can actually put who can pin in here. So maybe you have an assistant you want to help pin your stuff, or maybe you want to let Rhett pin to your board, or he wants to let you pin to his. You can type in their name, find them on Pinterest, and send them an invite. And then they can add a board, now just or add a pin. Just remember that what they add, they have to remove, and it's not that easy for you to remove it. So be careful about who you give access to on your boards. Now this particular Pinterest account I created for you as a personal account. They also have business accounts. So if you have a business or if you wanted to create a separate account for Rhett and Link, you would want to create a business account, not a personal account. And they're a little bit different, but basically just search for Pinterest for business and you can create an account for each if you like. Now Pinterest is pretty easy to learn how to use because there's a lot of Pinterest how-to's on Pinterest. Practical place to put them. So if you click on Pinterest how-to, you notice that there are pins. There are also boards. And you can see some of the boards here. This board happens to be mine. It's pretty popular. So you can follow this group Pinterest how-to board. And it has pinned to it all kinds of tips on how to get the most out of Pinterest, especially if you're using it for your business or an e-commerce site, whatever else you might want to promote. The three little people up here tells you that is a group board. In other words, I have given other people the capability of pinning to it. And so I have all the other collaborators I have actually offering their tips on this one board as well. When you don't see that, then that's a private board one person created. This is a group board many people created. You can also do a search and click on pinners so you can find out who is pinning on that topic. Obviously, you didn't find all the people we just saw on the Pal to Pinterest boards, so this doesn't always work as well. If you're looking for a particular person, then you can type in that person or what they're commonly known as online and find them. For example, this is Crystal and Comp. She is very well known, and she's a great example of how to do Pinterest well. Her site gets 50 to 60,000 visitors a month just from Pinterest. 
And so it's a great example. If you have a business, this is how you should do Pinterest well. How you should organize your boards, what kind of images to use, what kind of images to use as the image for the board. We saw that earlier when we were looking at your boards. When you're looking at a board, you can change the cover. And what that means is you can pick one of the pictures that's on that board and save that so that when you refresh, that will be the picture that is showing up on that board. So you want to pick the strongest thing you've pinned to show up for every one of your boards. So I could go and look at this board, look at all these pictures, and you notice I accidentally pinned that twice. So I can hit edit and I can delete it. Now you want to do that right away if you can because you don't want to delete one that's already got likes on it. So you can see that we have lots of cool toe sock related items on this board, including some finger socks to match some toe socks and a toe sock monster. These toe socks everyone had. I had some of those. Can't imagine why, but I did. So when you want to see all your boards, look at your name, point at it, click on settings. I'm sorry. Click on your profile and pins. And that shows you your boards. Click on Pinterest to see a lot of new stuff. Type something into search to find something that will interest you. And be sure to heart, comment, and repin whatever interests you. That's like giving votes to the person you borrowed it from. Well, that's pretty much the basics of Pinterest. There is a lot more to know, of course, if you want to use it for business. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Just give me a shout. The easiest way is on Skype. Add me on Skype. I'm Gromap, G-R-O-W-M-A-P. I'm Gromap everywhere. Gromap on Twitter, at Gromap. I created this account just for you. If you would like to have it to take over as your own, just get in touch with me, and I will give you the password, and you can change the email address and password, and there you go. You've already got your very own personal Pinterest account.